Welcome to the Voyage of the Laura Catherine. It's a February day here in New England and the weather is just nice enough to be able to come out and get a peek at uh, the boat. So this past fall I successfully rebuilt the trailer and it is under cover until we can uh, get the hull work done on the boat and then we'll put her back on the trailer hopefully mid to late summer. So the trailer is just here under a tarp. I replaced the bunks all the rollers, did the um, wheel hubs suspension, redid all the electrical on it, so hopefully it should be good to go. I am going to be using this boat primarily as a trailer sailor, so it'll be on and off a trailer and uh, not moored or in a slip somewhere. So I have this tent in my yard, it's nothing fancy, but it keeps the weather off, it keeps the leaves and, well we haven't really gotten much snow this year, but uh, it keeps it nice and safe. This uh, version of the Harrisoff America 18 that I have bought has an actual bowsprit on it, um, which you can see is just a white paint. Um, but I'm going to be changing that to all wood, so I'm hoping there's some wood underneath there. So come on, come on in. Let's see how she's doing. So the boat is nice and neat and tucked in here for the winter. I uh, really can't wait for the weather to warm up so that I can get working on the deck and the hull. Um, underneath the cover here, you can see our, we have a nice teak rub rails and the hull is in really good shape. There doesn't appear to be any osmosis blistering uh, or delaminating on the boat. So there's just some stress cracks to repair, uh, some sanding down, some priming and some uh, painting refinishing. There are a couple of holes in the hull from a couple of through holes uh, that we're going to take out and repair so it'll be nice and smooth as well so a little bit of fiberglassing but that's all to come in the summer when the weather warms up uh, and we can get out and get started on the boat meanwhile i'm going to be working on some smaller varnish projects and polishing up the tiller straps that hold the tiller onto the rudder Who's up? <laughs> And I'm <laughs> the camera person. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. This is Laura. She's half of the boat name. <laughs> Time for a change. Hi, okay. So I've done two coats with the Halcyon varnish. Um, and I'm ready to do a little work on the finish before I put the start working on the last few uh, finish coats and just to mention again that I'm using a Halcyon varnish from Total Boat this one is the amber gloss uh, varnish uh, because it's water based and it cleans up easily with soap and water it dries to recoat within one hour um, and it actually says if you're gonna do any sanding or, or smoothing of the finish between coats that you should actually wait about 12 hours before you uh, do any kind of manipulation to the finish whether it's sanding steel wool or anything else so I've done two full coats on this and um, what's interesting about this product is it's typically advised that when you are doing varnishing after you have done your sanding and your cleaning and your prep that you wet the wood just a little bit to lift the grain before you do the varnish but one of the things that I've noticed in my uh, test pieces that I've used the Halcyon on is that because it's water-based it actually lifts the green a little bit for you anyway so um, what I've done is two coats we've let that dry at least 12 hours and I'm gonna go and smooth the finish out and before we begin I used uh, the Halcyon clear not the amber but the clear and I've done a couple of test pieces so you can see what the finished product uh, kind of looks like it's a very nice nice varnish the gloss really starts to come out on this product once you reach like the fourth or fifth coat uh, then it really builds quickly after that uh, and you can get a nice smooth gloss varnish this is actually a piece uh, for the Harrisoff America uh, the original cockpit benches have a uh, teak boards on top that fold out into a full-size um, berth so that you can sleep out in the cockpit and this is one of the posts that actually supports that seat when it's folded out so these are done 
and we'll get started uh, with our finish prep. Well, I was hoping to be able to show you uh, a video clip of the finished product of my uh, <clears throat> varnish attempts here. I am, of course, a beginner at doing this, so um, as with anything that you're doing for the first time, it's a learning process. Um, I had a little problem with the Halcyon, and I think it's because in my basement environment, the relative humidity down here is about 45%. And the temperature is a little on the cool side, probably close to about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the problem is, uh, normally with Halcyon, since it's water-based, um, when you brush it onto a surface, the brush strokes have a chance to kind of self-level, and so it makes it nice and uh, smooth. However, in this case, that did not happen. So, my problem is, I have a lot of pretty deep brush strokes in the varnish work. So uh, what I'm going to end up having to do is sand them down. I'm going to start sanding down the brush strokes with a little um, 220. And yes, thank you, Mr. Huxley. That's my dog. Sorry about that. Um, you want to say hi? No. <laughs> of course not. He's camera shy. You want to say hi? No. Okay. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i already started sanding down the seat. I've sanded down one of the um, boom crutch parts and I've got to I'm going to finish sanding down the seat the top part of the seat the bottom side isn't so bad but the top part did not come out well um, and then after that I have to uh, sand down this piece and get the brush strokes out of it it's hard to see on the camera but if you run your fingers across it you can definitely feel the wavy pattern from the brush strokes and we don't want that we want it nice and smooth so um, yeah, I'm just going to get sanding, and everybody likes sanding, and whenever you're doing a boat project, there's lots of sanding. So, uh, here we go. All right. Time. Time for a change. I'm tired of the same old thing The same old words, same old lines Same old tricks and the same old rhymes Days, precious days They roll in and out just like we got boards to bend, planks to nail, charts to make, it, I got seas to sail. Okay, well, uh, not that I want to do that at all, but using the 220 grit paper, I know it's a little rough, uh, a little aggressive cutting for a varnish layer, but I really had to take these brush strokes really far down. I'm going to follow this up with a, a round of sanding with 400 grit sandpaper to get the scratches from the 220 out uh, and make the varnish layer as smooth as I can. Uh, and then I'm going to be vacuuming and cleaning up everything before I do another round of varnish. I still have the other piece to sand as well. Um, I do want to just make one little little plug here. So this the, the yellow paper you see here, this is just the 3M Advanced Abrasive paper and then this is a 3m pro grade sandpaper i got these at home depot um, i started using the 220 of the yellow paper uh, unfortunately the yellow sandpaper just loads really quickly with a super fine dust produced from the varnish sanding so uh the purple stuff here um just give it a good good shake off and it's still good to go still got plenty of grit on there to do the job so the 3M Pro is definitely a little more expensive than the 220 grit in the yellow, but uh, this a sheet of this will last you a lot longer, especially if you're doing varnish uh, work. Anyway, so I'm going to finish this up with some 400 and then get the other piece sanded. Uh, and then I'm going to try a couple of um, experiments uh, in terms of the varnish and, and see how that goes. All right, so hopefully I'll see you soon. 
Okay, so we're back. I've managed to sand down all of the pieces that I need to refarnish. Uh, luckily, not every single side of every single piece needed it, uh, but enough. Anyway, um, that's all sanded down. Everything's all cleaned up, and we're ready to try our varnishes. But this time, I think I'm going to do a little experimentation and try to figure out what the best method is uh, for down in this environment for varnishing because I'm hoping if the weather is nice tomorrow that I can get out on the boat and uh, unwrap it and maybe take some uh, other wood pieces off of the boat because there's more stuff that needs to be varnished. So uh, one experiment I'm going to try on uh, the boom crutch and the um, what's going to end up holding the mast when it's done is I took uh, about three eighths of a teaspoon of water and kind of thinned out my um, varnish a little bit. And we'll see if that works. On one piece, I'm going to use a foam brush, and on the other piece, I'm going to use a polyester brush or a nylon brush, like is recommended by the manufacturer. On this last piece, I think I'm going to try a non-thinned varnish with the foam brush and see how that works. So, this one I'm going to do the polyester brush on. This one I'm going to do the foam brush on. Both of these will get the 3 8 inch, uh, 3 8 tablespoons of water mixed with the varnish in this little cup. And then the other one will get a foam brush with just straight varnish. So we'll see how that goes. It's time, time for a change. Cause I'm tired of the same old same. Alright, so on the other side here, I'm going to try the nylon brush. Same, same old words, same old lines, same old tricks and the same old rhymes. Day, precious day. They roll in and out. Okay. Well, that actually went really, really well. And it was very easy. And that is turning out really nice. So I don't think I'm actually going to do the full strength version on the seat. The seat here, let me move this out of the way. The seat part here was uh, <laughs> a lot of sanding. So if I don't have to do a lot of sanding, then that would be great. So I'm going to throw a coat on this. Uh, I think I'm going to do this one with the foam brush. I actually really like how that came out so far. Um, and that's going to wait about an hour, and then I will see what it looks like. Okay, stay tuned. Just like we. I bought some pen. 